The collection and transportation of waste materials costs South Africa well over half a billion rand every year. Waste is becoming the next national crisis. Cities and towns need to introduce drastic changes. No more old school thinking. Waste needs to become a material of value. Jefferson Green has been at the forefront of planning and designing integrated waste management facilities in South Africa. This waste management facility at Electron Road, Durban, is an example of a municipality implementing a strategy to achieve large-scale savings in transportation costs. These facilities can, and most should, incorporate a transfer function that can reduce the cost of transporting waste to landfills by receiving loads from waste collection trucks and compacting this waste into specially designed containers. This frees the collection vehicles to serve their main function of collecting waste. These containers are then taken, often two or three at a time, by lower maintenance long haul vehicles to the landfill. Durban Solid Waste, the Cleansing and Solid Waste Department of the Itaquene Municipality, appointed Jefferson Green as lead consultant to design and project manage the construction of a 1,200 tons a day waste transfer station. This was to serve the Greater Durban area. Situated at Electron Road, Springfield Park, construction of the waste management facility is now practically complete. Its design elements were adopted from a facility in Hong Kong and adapted to suit South African conditions. A focal point of the facility is the refuse transfer station structure, which is approximately 100 meters long by 55 meters wide by 18 meters high. There are almost no internal supports, which allows free movement of vehicles. Trusses and roofing span the entire width of the building, with each truss being specially designed. An innovative system using tilt-up precast wall panels, each with a particular face brick finish, was used. This required a special mold, allowing an entire section of wall to be precast, cured, and placed in its final position. The walls of the main structure were placed into position within a few days. Waste collection vehicles arrive and proceed to the weigh bridge for weighing and billing purposes. After being recorded, the vehicles then proceed to offload on the upper refuse transfer station floor. The vehicle enters the transfer station floor and reverses up to the open chute under management of the controllers. The control booth is specially designed to give full view of the floor, full view of the containers being loaded outside the building and a glass floor for seeing the actual container being loaded directly beneath the control room. The waste collection vehicle offloads into the open chute. This waste drops into the hopper and a ram pushes the waste into the container with up to 70 tons of force. First time use in South Africa of specialized Hussman compaction equipment. Once the containers are loaded, the magazine can hold multiple containers for quick turnaround times. The magazine also has live loading measurement to try achieve maximum payloads. Special attention was given to pollution prevention. A special stormwater treatment process was designed using the newly formulated SUDS system, Sustainable Urban Drainage Systems, which is a natural biological treatment process. The facility adopted green engineering principles for lighting, ventilation, water conservation, rainwater harvesting, educational information signs, etc. Over 33 specialist subcontractors were used. The construction period was 25 months. Contract allowed for over 19 million to be spent on empowerment. Over 73,000 were spent on direct, dedicated training of low-skilled people. Over 25,000 hours of professional design and site work was used. Over 400,000 man-hours was used to construct this facility. This facility was completed with significant cost savings. Thanks to Etiquani Municipality, Durban Solid Waste, Jefferson Green and their extended team.